So Clarence has been canceled. Why? Why is this happening? Hey guys, what's up? Sermo11 here, and this news isn't that surprising. Clarence has been canceled and will be ending with its third season in 2018. And while I really like Clarence, I said this news isn't surprising because no one really talks about the show. And I'm guessing people may have watched it in the beginning and fell off, or maybe they found an episode they didn't like and just stop watching the show and they never got to see the show improve as it went on because it really became a great show and I'm bringing this up because the show didn't deserve to be canceled at all frankly I disagree with this decision completely because this show is great anyways let's take a look at the story the first thing I saw about this news was a tweet from the voice actor of Chelsea Grace Kaufman Kaufman tweeted out this picture of her and others with the caption Final record for Clarence was this past week. Thank you, Cartoon Network. Voicing Chelsea has been great fun and an honor these past years. This was really a surprise to me because Clarence isn't even that long of a show yet. I believe it's either on its second season or it's on its third season. It's on its third season, I believe. I think if Clarence had five seasons and was then canceled, I would have been more satisfied with the ending because five seasons is a really long run. Next, Spencer Rothbell, voice of Clarence, released a post on his blog clarifying more about the show's cancellation. This is what he had to say. I just want to address some questions about Clarence. Sadly, the third season will be the last. We were not renewed past season three. Having said that, there are still a lot of new episodes coming. Clarence will be premiering through 2018. Season three has some really cool episodes in it, including some of my favorites that we've ever done. Expect guest stars, callbacks, returning characters, character development, experiments with the format, and other fun surprises. Some people were concerned about the series having a proper ending, but no need to worry about that either. The season ending should serve as a proper series ending as well. Of course there will always be ideas and routes I wish we could have gotten to, but this season has some really stellar episodes that expand on the universe of the show and its characters in a fun way that we haven't really done before. There's more to this post, but that was really the main part about the show's cancellation. The other part is just kind of him reminiscing and everything and you can read that on his blog, which I have linked to in the description. Cartoon Network did not renew this show past its third season, but apparently there are a lot more cool episodes coming up, and the show will last to 2018, so that's really good news. It's also getting a proper ending, but they won't be able to do all the plot lines that they wanted to do, but it's still, I still think this is pretty good news. Um, I think it's going to have a good ending. And people like to complain about Cartoon Network, but when I think back in the last 10 years or less, shows have gotten proper endings. Most of them have. And while they may have came out of nowhere, you know, that the show is ending, they still received proper endings. Chowder had a proper ending, Flapjack had a proper ending, Codename Kiss Next Door had a proper ending, Regular Show had a proper ending, Ed and Nettie had a proper ending, you know, just a few examples. Shows like Symbiotic, Titan, Camp Laszlo, My Gym Partner's a Monkey, and The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy did not receive proper endings, if I'm correct, unless they didn't want to do a proper ending, I'm not sure. I did check on some of these on Wikipedia beforehand, and they don't have episodes that seem like series finales. And if you did like Clarence, I'd say you should leave a comment on Spencer's blog and tell him that you're going to miss the show, what you liked about it, and things like that. As I said before, the link will be in the description. And originally, I thought Clarence was going to be like Ed and Eddie, but it didn't turn out to be like that. But it was still a good show. I definitely got a strong feeling of childhood from the show. And you can see that heart was really put into this show. I can say with confidence that Clarence was starting to stand among some of the best shows on Cartoon Network right now, and I looked forward to watching every single episode. Last year I made my top 10 cartoons of 2016 video, and I praised Clarence heavily, but a lot of the comments disagreed with me putting Clarence so high on my own personal list, and I'm not going to change my opinion just because some people disagree with me. Clarence was such a good show, I had such high praise for the last season, so I will be supporting it till its end, and I hope you guys will be doing the same. So, what did you think about Clarence ending? Did it deserve to be canceled, and why should it have kept going, and why? And be sure to tell me your thoughts and more in the comments below. And with Adventure Time, Clarence, and potentially Gumball ending in 2018, and regular show already gone, I wonder which Cartoon Network show will be gone next. They're running out of good shows, Steven Universe and We Bear Bears are still around, and Gumball may be staying around, but the creator will definitely be leaving the show. 
and I think things are starting to look pretty terrible for Cartoon Network. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like my content and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. The links are below. I'm Sirmo11. See you next time, and peace out.